So, <laughs> I'm actually, uh, remember there's an editing software on here, so, <clears throat> I think, I think I'm very limited in my commentary on here, maybe I'm not, I have no idea. Um, I might try and put audio over all of this, not sure, but, yeah, as you saw there, what I basically was saying before my mic was, like, dying during this moment in time was that um yeah, the Ferrari FXX which you mentioned in that comment is actually in the uh like title screen. I think it was on the cover of the game, I'm not sure on that. <coughs> um Fortunately I'm getting like really small screen so it's harder to comment it over the gameplay. Gameplay it's a relative term here but you know what I mean. <sighs> There's probably some uh, jibber jabber there over about like how um championship is working. I don't think I even talked during the loading screen. I was like not really mentally there at the time, so. I zoned out for like a straight minute while the game loaded, so that was not much lost there. I don't know if I really have the time to sit here and record post audio for 15 minutes. Um, I wish I'd, I wish I could say we're faster to just put text on the screen, but it's really not. Oh, well, I think I'm actually seeing the bottom of the screen here. Uh, I'm getting a very different overlay because I'm doing this in post editing that I found that I can do, but it takes so much longer to do it this way that I just, I don't know, I don't really have the care to do it all the time, otherwise I would, but I think I can record an hour, which is fine because this episode would be 68 minutes because I'm meshing two together. Because, uh, well, as I explained later on in the video, I um, have a dead mic during this moment in time. And I would switch headsets after this race when I went to use the bathroom. And I was testing out my new microphone I got from Target. Which is lower, but it's, you know, better than the other one where the mute button was stuck down. And therefore, I was not getting mic audio at all. And it's kind of annoying because I missed the commentary over the probably best race of the episode. <laughs> because there was like independent action throughout most of it. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, gas there. I think I'm just gonna. I don't know. I'm probably not gonna come to. I'll probably come to it over the first lap of the race, and that'll be it. With everything else, you could just look at the screen and figure out what I probably said because, uh, well, the commentary was there. I was saying, I was talking, which didn't matter when we were picking it up, but most of what I was saying anyway was just what was happening on the screen itself. comes in on the whole car differences thing, like how I figured this battle would go on for a while between Mortimer and XT3 here, because their top speeds are about the same, just X3 has some better handling, but Beat's got almost as much handling as XT3 and much more speed, so... I guess it's just more of the matter of Beat's not a good driver, so... <laughs> he prefers roller skates, I suppose, so that's probably a valid excuse. Using the better handling, XG3 just goes right around Mortimer. Very minimum strife. Mortimer surprisingly doesn't pull the classic AI maneuver of I'm trying to keep the place so I'll run directly into the wall. Which is 
quite a rare thing that happens. Um, I might actually do, I might try and... There was a part that was kind of interesting because, like... I went to, I go to a replay at some point for, uh, seeing what happened to one of the drivers, but other than that, not really much happened even in this race, so that was, like, remarkable. It just was closely packed tight because, of uh, Mortimer holding up, a, like, basically the entire field from fourth on back after X3 got around him. Nobody else seemed to be able to do that for a pretty long time. But I think I'll just, uh cut the post commentary here. Buttercup very far away and that lead doesn't really shrink either because, well, even though actually 3 is in second, Buttercup's handling is ridiculous. And around this track it usually helps to have good handling as well as some decent speed, but handling is more important because these turns are not nice. Okay, so now here is where I will come back because <clears> through <throat> about three minutes later here because yeah, Mojo, as you've seen, was doing pretty well, but he's lost places randomly. At first I thought it was because he got in a wreck, but uh, 
what we'll see up here. I'll, I'll figure it out at some point. Yeah, so Falcon gets around Sonic and cuts him off. Sonic has to lose all of his speed, and that kind of costs Mojo Jojo a lot of his momentum. Alex gets by, Bubbles will get by, and Dexter will go by before we even get to the next section. The next lap, then like one sector of the course. And you can see Falcon gets around Sonic and forces him down the track. Sonic loses speed and reacting to that, and Mojo lost even more speed than that, reacting to that. Alex gets by because of that, and then because of being still a bit off kilter. Here comes Bubbles with her ridiculous handling on that crossbow. And then there goes Dexter as well. So... I don't know why I'm... Well, he passes Dexter again at some in the near future, but... I don't think he ever gets back past Alex or Bubbles in the race, so that was a pretty costly thing that Sonic has done. I've also chosen a record uh, audio for the final lap as well, because, well, might as well. Um, I basically recorded audio for most of it now. I've only left out about two or three minutes worth of footage where I didn't put any audio in because there wasn't much that I was saying to begin with. And what I was saying was largely pointless, so I'm like, why even bother? I couldn't come up with anything at the time, I definitely ain't gonna come up with anything interesting to say then, so... You know. I never really use what's called chair factor in the museum. I don't usually use it too often. The last time I used it was for that, um... extended preview of a whole five-minute trailer of... what was originally going to be the, uh, cars for the only five acts that we did. Then we had the other ideas like the couples race, tier list, some other plans for more team racing were thrown around, but almost like... Well, actually no. After 16 there will be more. It's just a matter of that's when you start a new game. Assuming you haven't already done that by the time I get to 16, which is probably going to happen, but... Seeing as I can still think of at least five you haven't played. Granted, a lot of them are pretty small games, but they exist. Because if Fallout is on your list, I would like to see how you have 
your opinions are on it. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I remember it wrong from a decade ago. That could always be the case, but I remember it being a pretty bleh game. And uh, if six-year-old me didn't like it, chances are seventeen-year-old me isn't going to like it much more. Yeah, then there's, I saw when you're um, recording you had a problem in one of the episodes of Sun Track Driver. You had Bash Arena on there. I've heard of that once, twice. I don't know much about it. I've seen like one video about the uh, Evolution of Hot Wheels games type video that they have somewhere on YouTube. I don't remember who put it up. I don't also remember if it'll even matter if I did know, but... As we come down to the race here, Buttercup won pretty definitively over everyone else. Um, everyone was all really close to each other. And as you see there, <laughs> you would think that the screen would actually show the split times and not the fast lap. That would be, that would make more sense. It's usually what results screens show. But, so of course it does things differently. They're Italian. Which is awfully fitting as I was at Olive Garden earlier. Which, that's actually the reason I went to the bathroom. The chicken at Olive Garden kind of didn't sit well. And I had leftovers from when I went there for lunch. Got home at like 4 o'clock because we had to go out of town to reach an Olive Garden because we don't really live in a big town. Um, surprisingly, despite having two hours of sleep, I managed to reach 3.30, get home, and I didn't even look at my bed and I just passed out. Like, <laughs> the problem was, that would have been all fine and good, until I woke up at midnight. Yeah, that wasn't really ideal. Um. So yeah, pretty soon... Uh, once we see the drive screen, like the start race screen, that's when I come back from... That's when I cut the video originally, but it's still added to the recording time. As I mentioned later on, that I realized this when the video splits at uh, about 45 minutes in. When the thing is like, oh, the video clip is saved because we reached an hour, but you cut for 15 minutes. But we still added that time and just didn't put it in the video because we're not... We don't record the PlayStation menu, so not really the most incredible design choice, if you ask me, but eh. So I think we might end up with 20 acts, assuming I have the number right. I don't know what I would do for the actual final act, for sure. Or really what I would do, if anything special at all, I might do 8v8 team thing with like 8 additional characters versus like 8 um, Hot Wheels characters for like one of the other acts. Um, I said that, that's actually, a, that's actually a solid idea, I might do that. I don't know what the other 3 will be though, 20 would probably just go back to the roots like with what we're doing with 14 here all Hot Wheels characters except for like one. And that'd probably just be me because I have to appear in every single race except for the cartoon circuit because I'm not a cartoon character. So this is the end of post commentary. The next time you hear my voice will be actual commentary.
can't waste any more damn time here. We've already spent like 10 minutes just trying to start the race. Can be heard over this, right? I'm gonna stay with the field for a better audio test, but I think I actually turned it on too much. I'm kind of messing with Samurai Jack's head here by sitting next to him. Now, realistically, if an AI were driving this car, I'd be in like 10th already, but. I'm actually not leading yet, surprisingly. Yeah, I think I turned this down a bit too much. I think only one thing needed to change. I only really needed to change the uh, master volume. I didn't need to change the opponent's opponent's volumes as well. <coughs> Alex, I'm surprised didn't get around Ben 10 yet. Well, this definitely makes the championship interesting because 63 is no longer going to have the points lead right now. Right now, it'd be. Uh, right now, I'd have a four point advantage, assuming that I uh, don't lose or gain more places, which I'm not sure. And then, not to mention, too, bubbles would be relevant because she'd have 90 points to my 91 and XC3 is 87, so. Buttercup would also be kind of close. She would be within. She would be mathematically able to, if she stays here in fourth. That is, if. And if she passes me, then that also, kind of. I think that almost puts it a tie. I think. Well, yeah, bubbles at seventy-five. I think Buttercup at seventy-three. So. This would put her at 81, meaning mathematically she can win, but it would require none of the other three to score more than like two points. I tried it on Dexter, I don't know if it'll work. No, it doesn't. Dexter's the inside there, and that's also let Buttercup get close, but uh, I'm not done yet. This can only end well, I'm sure. Well. It ended better than I thought it would, but it ended with Buttercup almost getting... Buttercup chickened out. This is not part of the character here, and now Beat's going to take advantage of that, so Buttercup will lose a place. <laughs> Probably. Oh yeah, when you do that, you definitely will. Ben 10's still in 6th. I don't know how, but he is. But there was also something with this car that just, like, prevents passing. Also, Bubbles is checked out. Because I fought Dexter and that let get her let her get very far ahead of the rest of us. So Bubbles will now have that 90. If XT3 uh, can get to 8th, then he can hold the points lead, I think. No, I'm scoring 12 points, so. 90, I'd get 93 now. I mean, I would have the points lead by three, assuming XC3 can't gain more spots. Which, I would like to think that he could gain at least one more on, like, Mojo or Sonic or Madison up there. What? Hmm. Somehow. I've not even been that loud. Yeah, very, uh, very light sleeper over there. Doesn't help, doesn't help this house is dead silent at night, so...
Well, they're almost worked. Where are you going? That's how this works. That looks sketchy up there. seem like much else is going to happen here. <laughs> I don't know if it's clearly faster, but it just is too, like, too passive to actually do anything about it. And that's basically the only reason why Ben's still in sixth. <laughs> What's Mortimer doing? My word. Not breaking, right? That's what he's been doing.
This has been a rather subpar race for XT3 here. <laughs> we need to win a, win a heck of a final round to hope to win this championship. And I would also probably need one heck of a not very good round. Please convince that I've had a bad round. So Bubbles definitely won that race by a lot. <laughs> the turn a very solid place to win the entire thing if I don't start very high on the grid. Dexter with a, a record finish for him, getting third. And also I think the same thing for Ben 10 who uh, we lose the place now, but I think he had it over the line, which is the important. Nope, he's... wow. And this is not the fastest car, but the brakes on it are insane, clearly. So it's three points splits each of the championship drivers. Technically, if I don't score at all, Buttercup could still win, but I don't find that terribly likely. So I would like a starting grid that puts me, Bubbles, and XT3 in the same area. <laughs> likely. confused me is everyone always says like go-karts are the best way to start racing which is ironic because to me it seems like go-karts are actually kind of tough to use in a racing scenario the uh, handling on them is not exactly much like what you see in like a normal car even like the other single seaters like your Indy cars and Formula One cars don't really behave that way if anything, it seems like the easiest kind of car to drive would be a touring car, because uh, most touring cars are just slightly faster versions of, like, normal road-going cars. Well, they're kind of in sort of the same area. Looks pretty good for XT3, though, but that's about the only way I kind of wanted it in. I just stall it. Good job, me. <clears throat> and all the touring cars are in one area, and X3 just passes both of them in one turn. Maybe not done with Alex. Nope, done with Alex. Alex went like a mile wide. <laughs> And how am I moving up? Uh, not at all. I actually went down because Madison apparently got a better launch than the four-wheel drive supercar from about a few years ago. Okay. Let's see how that happened. I'm not really a fan. 
I'm actually going to take him that long to do that. <laughs> Bubbles, I don't think, is getting that much better. No. That's... Okay, you're supposed to be good at the track Bubbles. Come on now. Ben is looking to break another record. With the potential second place. And Samurai and Jack are also looking to do the same thing with third, but uh... Actually, he doesn't like that idea. Blossom is... Well, along with Alex, right behind XT3. Alex is looking feisty. Oh my god, Dexter's car is very loud. <laughs> so I had not realized that even if I'm not looking at the screen, the uh, video still records. So, while well, there's nothing on screen for about 10 minutes, while well, I used the bathroom, and it cuts it out, still recorded it, and still added to the hour of the video that it recorded, but like didn't actually do anything with it, I don't think. Unless I'm wrong on this cutting method too, and it actually doesn't do anything. And if that's the case, I don't think there is a way to cut ahead on PlayStation. Alex actually mugged XT3 at that point in time as well, so that's really glad we happened to miss that. <laughs> Not really. I have gained a couple of positions. Well, really one. Bubbles, on the other hand, has not done that. So right now, XC3 looks very set to win the championship. Though, as I just say that, I've just put Mortimer almost in the sand. Alright. Well then. I'm trying to math here. Bowler Cup had 78, I think. It's 76 or 78, but... No. Had to have been 78, because otherwise... Well... 79. She's mathematically able to if I didn't score a point. However, because I'm scoring a point, two in fact, right now, well, about to be one, I think, because Bubbles is faster. The most part of Cup can do now, assuming she even wins it all, is tie. I'd give if she's second, seven seconds away from Ben 10. I think she's fine to do that. But also because XG3 is scoring this many points, I also think that kind of denies it too. So right now he's going to be at 95, and uh, that winning the championship as well. So a Buttercup has pretty much won the race. Just 11 seconds ahead of Ben 10 now. I don't think that's enough. Granted. It could be enough, but it's probably not. Oh, actually, no, it's not enough because I'm getting three points right now. <laughs> okay, two, because Bubbles just passed me, but I'm still getting enough. I'll be at 95 with this, I think. And, uh, I mean, actually, they would tie right now.
Ben 10 is continuing to try and make the race interesting by doing some of these slowest laps in the race, but blocking like all the fastest cars in the race. He said Buttercup, clearly, but at some point. Bubbles has now joined this party of now six cars. Seven, actually, I miscounted. I couldn't really see uh, Samurai Jack behind XT3 or in front of XT3 from the angle I was getting. And I have a feeling I'll be a part of a two by some point or another. Samurai Jack looks to not be a part of it anymore. I don't think he will be. And that's uh, XT3. Nope, that's Blossom. That's not XT3. In. I meant to hit XT3. XT3, you really got a bad turn there. This is, uh, <laughs> Alex got him too. Bubbles is also right there to pounce. If she passes him, that's it for his championship. That might be it for his championship. Because <laughs> Bubbles has more points. She's hit at 90 to his 87, so if he's ahead of him, that means Bubbles pretty much wins the championship. Because I'm not getting many points right now. I'm at 95. XT3 will be at... Four? Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, ten, twelve, fifteen, so yeah. That would put him at 91. Bubbles is getting six. Five. I cannot numbers. It's 15, 12, 10, 8, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And so. Uh, right now, even here in ninth, I still win the championship. No. Bubbles will give me one point. So X3 can. If X3 could pass Bubbles, which you just did. <laughs> then I win. <laughs> and also Dexter can do it, I guess. Blossom, wow. Oh. This is a great and all that you're getting second, but uh, it doesn't do all that much when you're 40 points off of the championship lead and you didn't even score in the last two rounds because the starting grid doesn't like you. But I mean, Yay, top three, I guess. So I think now with this, the most points on offer for any driver is like eight. And, uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> Benton's got a pretty tight grip on that fourth. Right now I think, no, X3 does not win. X3 needs uh, eight points, which means he needs fourth. Buttercup is just left. He's in the next. Oh my god, Alex, where are you going? Um, how did you keep that from spinning? Other than because you're an AI and they can't spin, pretty much, but. Pubbles needs more places than this, and I don't think she's getting them in the available time. Available time, not available. And definitely not when these two are basically creating a wall in front of her.
Buttercup's in the next time zone, we've already established that. Samurai Jack will take second place. That's like a record high for him. Blossom takes a rather useless third. Actually, three does take fourth. That's not enough, though. I don't think that's enough. I think that I win. This is all assuming that my math on Buttercup is correct, so... I'm gonna go look at this, the final results of the last round here. Oh my god, Dexter's car is loud. I scored two points, but I think that's enough. Yep, oh my god, by one point, Buttercup almost did it. <laughs> wow, that is a championship right there. <laughs> I could have gone to anybody if there was a 13th round, and I kind of wish there was. But no, it doesn't matter. I would probably do an extra race if I if I uh, tied with Buttercup, but I have one more point, so I win. Buttercup, you don't need a second championship anyway. You already won Act 7. Give me a break. I have not read anything for uh, 14 yet. It's always flashes, but it's always the same thing. Also, yeah, everything says uh, break horsepower. It's an Italian. It's an Italian game, or made by an Italian company, anyway. So yeah, the default thing for other things is kilometers an hour and uh, break horsepower rather than just regular horsepower. It also newton meters, not foot pounds, so <laughs> of torque, and 1600 kilograms, which. I don't know how much that is in pounds, but I want to say it's like 3,400. So Act 14, like I said before, will actually be back to basics, all Hot Wheels drivers, except for myself again. There won't be any other inserts, no Powerpuff Girls, no Madison, or like Cat and Falcon. Thought about doing the same thing I did in Act 13 here, where I had, you know. Well, the idea was actually, so Act 12 had 12 Hot Wheels characters and three additions. Act 13 has had 13 addition characters and two Hot Wheels drivers. Act 14 will have 14 Hot Wheels drivers and then just me. And then Act 15 will have 15, 15 addition characters because it's the cartoon circuit.
So that was kind of like a hidden joke there. And I've already determined the roster for 15, but I haven't even put any thought into 14, so... Shouldn't be too hard. I'll just pick like two or three cars and go from there. And I'll probably start doing that once this, this video is uploaded because uh, when videos are uploading, I can't really do much of anything else with the PS4. It takes up that much bandwidth. That usually if I do anything else on the PS4, it slows the upload down by like, to cut in like one third of what it should be doing. On top of that, if I'm in a game and it tries to like complete the upload op operation, it just like, like pees itself. It just like doesn't know how to do that. And there'll be an error and I have to start uploading the entire thing all over again. So playing a game during that time span is entirely out of the question. I'm not sure if I want to do uh, 12 or 15 races though. Because it feels like if I do 12 races, there's always like at least one track. I'm like, oh, but I can't do that in there. But then I do 15, it's like, I have to like dig for the, to the bottom of the barrel to find the, uh, the good race. <laughs> or to find like a, a, every track that's good and you don't have to use the ones that are never interesting races like Zandivort or, um, Omega Owens had a couple of unique races, but not always. But like Zandivort doesn't really do much when it comes to that, um, So yeah, you see that the short layout is actually longer by like a few, a handful of meters, but it's still longer. Also, every track has 24 pit boxes, meaning you can, well, almost every track, can't do it here. But almost every track has 24 pit boxes, which would mean that you could do 24 players on PC. But this game can't handle more than 16 cars on track on the, on the console version, so... PC version lets you have 24 though, I'm pretty sure. Oh, yeah, Val Lunga, that's the other one that's boring as heck. And this is actually where the uh, company headquarters is that made this game is at the located at this racetrack. There's like a little track map there too. 11 meters wide. <laughs> My God, look at that. <laughs> that one's the simplest layout and that's the long version. <laughs> oh, okay, that one's simpler. What? <laughs> Fictional USA road. <laughs> uh, well, at least, at least they know. He's not going to try and cover it up. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, wow. <laughs> we haven't used that track yet, have we? It still looks relatively normal, like compared to the Black Hat County one. That one maybe not so much, but original layout. <laughs> okay, it's not gonna say anything like fictional Scottish or fictional Scotland Road. <laughs> I haven't used this version either because it's not very interesting. Yeah, that's the real name of that track. Name it to the creator and the creator's son of Ferrari. Mazda lost the sponsorship. Now it's WeatherTech. So that's kind of funny. 
Autodromo di Umbria. It's a very fake Italian accent. I have no idea. But <laughs> it sounded good. So we'll roll with it. Yeah, I forgot I had this too. That's like a little tiny course. I've yet to figure out what the difference between any of these are. Oh yeah, well that is because of the uh... Don't know what the difference is, so that adds in a thousand meters here. Oh, I think it actually uses the rest of the GP circuit. Other than sprint. I don't even know. The layout of that track is even boring. <laughs> Looks like a snake. I also like how this is like the widest track in the game too. It makes it even more boring. Oh, very probably this one. Oh yeah, that one's absolutely wider. <laughs> I was literally used to think this, guy, this track was shaped like a an Uzi. And I can still kind of see it now, but it's like that's not what barrels are normally look like. I believe those are the second longest track that we use. Spa is. I don't mind the uh, red uh, courses are longer. <coughs> so yeah, I should probably actually end the video. I've been here for an hour and a half. <laughs> Not want to take a stupid screenshot. <laughs> 